chimes, the time will be exactly 10 seconds till noon. This is the tender hour. A glorious, wonderful hour of love and romance. And during it, you will steal away. Escape from the stern realities of a drab, workaday world with those two true lovers of the air, Penelope and Marvin. This is all so, so different, Marvin. So different from the things I've been used to. It'll be fun helping you to get used to them, Penelope, darling. It's just like being born all over again into a wonderful new world. Oh, I know I must feel as Cinderella felt, but I hope I won't wake up at midnight and find this beautiful yacht has turned into a pumpkin. You'll wake up all right, my dear, and discover your wonderful new world to be quite stupid and boring. For goodness sake, Jonathan, don't you stop being a killjoy. It's because you have a sour outlook on life it's no reason to infect others with it. Hortense, can't you do something about him? Jonathan, darling, come along. The least we can do is let these young lovers have the exclusive use of the deck. Good night, darlings. Good night. Good night. Oh, Marvin, look at those beautiful clouds. No. Uh, darling, wasn't that thunder? Yes, uh, there's a storm coming up. Oh, but that's just for the common people, dear. I'm the weatherman in our little world, darling, and I say there'll be nothing but sunshine. Oh, Marvin, please pinch me. I want to be sure that I'm not dreaming. Oh! <clears throat> you see, darling, you weren't dreaming. Uh, yes, darling. Please kiss me. Tender Hour comes to an end. The Tender Hour is brought to you every Monday and Thursday at the same time. And so we leave Penelope and Marvin, those true lovers of the air, held in the thrall of ecstatic bliss. Listen, Whitney, just because you're, 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 you're Basie Turner's brother-in-law, you can't kiss my girl. Eddie, Eddie, skip it. Well, I don't care. I'll bust him in two. If there's any busting to be done, huh? I'll do it right in your silly nose, you brainchild of an idiot. Oh, Mr. Turner, what did I do? What did you do? You did everything. You just messed up the whole program, that's all. Eddie, darling, I do think you had your mind on your work. Mind? If he has one, where does he keep it? What's the good of me writing good stuff if you're going to butcher it? Listen, Beppo, who said you write good stuff? As for you, Grant. Turner, why don't you lay off? Oh, Fetty, it wasn't his fault. He's getting married today. He's in the days. Well, Jessup, he can spend his days someplace else. And unless you stop making so many advances to my wife, you'll spend your day someplace else. You're fired. Fired? Yeah, fired. Washed up. Through. Finished. Let him gum up somebody else's radio program if he can get a job. Macy Turner, you're a mean, contemptible... Of course, my darling husband, I can't stop you from firing. No, I'll say you can't. Naturally not. You've done that already. But I thought I might persuade you to hire him back again. Because if you don't... Shh. I thought you'd see it my way. I think it's an awfully nice thing of you to do. Eddie, hmm? Macy's decided to give you your old job back and at a raise in salary. <laughs> yeah? It's a <laughs> wedding present for you and Sue. Dear, that's Sue. A raise in salary. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, thank you, Thank you. Come on, we gotta get dressed for the wedding. Don't forget, folks, two o'clock. What did you mean by that crack about my writing? Oh, what did you think I meant? It's putrid. It smells. A four-year-old moron could do better. Then you better get yourself one, brother. Why don't you two guys grow up? Why don't you go down to a butcher shop and give yourself up, Jeff? Bingo! What do you want? There's a party down in your office, Mr. Turner. A certain party. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, well, uh, excuse me. Yes, I think you have it, Miss Brady. The uh, dramatic spark. All it needs is a little fanning. Oh, do you really think so, Mr. Turner? You'll have to put yourself in my hands. Oh, but yes, Mr. Turner. 
Oh, if you're not too busy, Turner, I'd like to talk to you. Oh, Mr. Bascom, uh, this is my chief, Miss... Uh... How do you do? I know you'll excuse Mr. Turner. Oh, you just bet I will. I know how busy you big businessmen are. Why, only yesterday... Quite I... understanding of you. Do you really think Thank that I... Thank you for coming, Miss Brady. Uh, right at the moment, there's nothing, but as soon as something turns up, we'll oh, let you know. I understand perfectly, Mr. Turner. Goodbye, Mr. Bascom. Goodbye. A friend of mine sent her to me. Of course, she has no talent. I don't care what she has or what she hasn't. But you won't have a job if we lose the tenderfoot shoe account. And that's exactly what's going to happen if the program on Thursday isn't lots better than the one today. And that isn't my unsupported opinion. I just talked to the sponsor. But I've been rehearsing the program two hours. What more can I do? You can rehearse them for six hours a day. And if I were in your shoes, I'd keep on rehearsing them until it's coming out of their ears. But I can't. Why not? Because the leading lady's marrying the sound effects man today and they're going on their honeymoon. They can postpone it, can't they? Yeah, sure. I'll try. They're coming out now. You hold the phone and I'll get it. I beg your pardon, Mr. Grant. There's a telephone call for you. Who, me? Who, who is it? Uh, the gentleman didn't say, but he seemed to think it was quite important. You better answer it, darling. Well, where, where is it? Right in here. Oh. Oh, not gonna lose sight of you now. <laughs> oh? Yeah? Yeah, this is Eddie Grant. <laughs> oh, it's your little Mary. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. We, we couldn't do that. He wants us to postpone our honeymoon. Is he crazy? Is he crazy? Say, are you crazy? He's not running our lives. Yeah, he's not running our lives. You're not running our lives. Yeah, then why do you? Never mind why. Tell him to go jump in the lake. Never mind why. Tell him to go jump in the lake. Never mind why. Go jump in the lake. Now, you listen to me, Grant. I... It... I... 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 I guess that's telling him. You certainly did tell him. Yeah. You, you think I should have? Oh, never mind about him, darling. You could produce a better radio show than he can any day. Oh, you wonderful ideas. But I, I, come on. Huh? Come on. Well, well, goodbye. Goodbye. Again, I'll see you real soon. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I guess not. Goodbye. <laughs> I want to see what my brother landed for a wife. <laughs> Sue, this is my sister, Millie. How do you do, Millie? Mm. Eddie's been writing about you, but he didn't have to, you just <laughs> tell me. <laughs> How did you happen to fall for him? <laughs> well, anyway, he's lucky. And welcome into the family, what's left of it. Hey, don't squeeze your breath, Oliver. <laughs> That's a privilege you ought to reserve for yourself, I suppose. <laughs> That's the way you can get anything you want out of it. But Tom, Tom Walker, where's your baggage? Oh, it's in the back of the car. Oh, come on, Tom will take care of it. <laughs> you said there'd be no more guests. You said that when Miss Coates went away, we'd close the lodge for the season. Oh, but these aren't guests. You remember my brother, Eddie. Sure, how are you, Tom? <laughs> and this is Eddie's wife. They were just married today. They're going to spend their honeymoon here. Yeah. Well, I hope it won't be a long honeymoon. No, only a couple of days. The bags are in the back of the car. <laughs> See, uh, uh, Tom doesn't seem to be in very good humor, does he? No, he just saw because Miss Coates won't leave, so he can go back to the city. Who's Miss Coates? One of the guests, a rich old fluff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Mrs. Westover, I thought you were closing the lodge. I understood you to say you were taking no more guests this season. Perhaps just that you wish to be rid of me. Oh, now, Miss Coates, you know that's not true. Then who are these people? <laughs> My brother and his wife, they were just married today. They're going to spend their honeymoon. <laughs> married, yeah. <laughs> Love is indeed blind. Hmm? He doesn't look as if he had sense enough to come in out of the rain. Uh -huh. Well, get out of my way. Hmm. Come on, I'll show you kids to the bridal suite. You know. Oh, oh, it's boy. beautiful. <laughs> Eddie, look at it. Look at the little bride and groom. They're supposed to be us. Aren't they, darling? <laughs> they sure are. Hey, we kind of shrunk, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Millie, it's wonderful. 
I don't do something pretty quick, I'm afraid I'm going to start bowling. Start carving, then. <laughs> What's going on out there, Tom? See what it is. What is this, a morgue? There's usually a few bodies around the morgue. Hey, where is everybody? Hey, we're in the wrong place. No, we're not. This is it. Well, the names are on the register. Oh, look what I see. Oh. Hey, lady, wait a minute. The lady, it's a zombie. It's a zombie, all right. Hey, look, here's another one. What do you want? I said, what do you want? What do you think we want? We didn't come up to this dump to go roller skating. We want some rooms and baths if you have such things, and we want something to eat. Now get going, laughing boy. The lodge is closed. You'll have to go elsewhere. Don't give me that elsewhere business. We're staying right here. I said the lodge was closed. Well, open it then. Listen, Dracula, you're not scaring anybody with that ugly face. <coughs> Let him alone. Hey, what is this? What's with Junior? What are they doing here? I told them the lodge was closed. Never mind what you told them. You promised me you wouldn't lose your temper again. Go back to the kitchen. Now, will somebody be good enough to tell me what this is all about? Who are you people? They're friends of Eddie's and mine. Millie, we work on the same radio program together. But I haven't the slightest idea what they're doing up here. Yeah, can a guy have a little time alone on his honeymoon? It was Macy's idea. Huh? Tell them all about it, Macy, darling. Yes, perhaps you'd better tell us. Yes, perhaps you'd better tell us. All right, little Sir Echo, I'll tell you. If you'd have kept your big mouth shut and listened to me when I was talking to you on the phone yesterday, I'd have told you then. You did tell us. You told us we were going to have to postpone our honeymoon. And if you think... Will you shut you... up? Hey, don't talk to Sue like that. I'll talk to her any way I want. Uh, I heard what you told him to uh, say on the phone. It's wise dames like you that start... Hey, listen, you! Oh, Eddie! Oh. Listen. Wait a minute. I thought you said these were friends of yours. He's no friend of mine, and he can't talk to Sue like that. Take it easy, I'll kill. Take it easy. I'll... Since when did you get to be such a fire eater? Huh? Uh, will you people excuse me? Amateur fights bore me. Yeah. Will somebody please tell me what this is all about? Sure, Mr. Bascom's very unhappy about the radio show and gave Macy orders to rehearse us every day between now and Thursday. We can't rehearse without you and Eddie. Mm -hmm. I know it's a rotten deal, Sue, but it's a must or else. It's still Greek to me, but you can have rooms for tonight and maybe it'll get straightened out in the morning. Come on, sign the register. Just darling, if I could make one minute stand still, this would be it. Look at that peaceful scene out there. You know, Eddie, I've always dreamed of a cottage in the country with chickens and flowers. <laughs> so have I. And we'll have it, too, someday. See, it's awfully still here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? Something I read once. The night was filled with a thundering roar of silence. <laughs> Hear that train whistle? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that sound. Oh, so do I. It kind of lulls you to sleep, doesn't it? 
a long way off. Mm. On a clear night like this, sound carries a great distance. Yeah. And there isn't a railroad around here for miles. The closest one is down in the valley. The joke's on us, huh? <laughs> well, good night. What's all this racket about? Huh? Haven't you the decency to let hard-working people sleep? Oh, well, I... I... I <laughs> good, 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 good night. I was never so embarrassed in my life. Look, that train, how did they get that up here? Oh. They didn't get a train, silly. They made the sound of a train with your sound effects. My sound effects? Mm -hmm. My sound effects? Oh, for a minute I was worried. My sound effects are at the studio. No, they're not. They're down in the lobby. The boys brought them here for the rehearsal. What? Where are you going? To lock up my sound effects. But nobody will hurt them. They won't bother us again. I'm not taking any chance. Suppose something happened to them. But, Eddie, nothing will happen. Mm. Anyhow, I'm going. again. They had some nerve fooling around with my sound effects. Th they might have broken something. Oh, uh -huh. what's the matter, dear? You're not sore at me for going out, are you? Huh? Oh, uh -huh. come on, you're not asleep. You haven't had time. I wasn't gone long enough. Huh? Oh, uh -huh. you can't play possum on me like that and get away with it. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, you asked for it. <laughs> Sue? Sue? Oh, come on now. Sue? Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Eddie? You look like you'd seen a ghost. There's a man in Sue's bed. A man in Sue's bed? Yeah. Now, wait a minute, Eddie. That's reaching a little far for a gag. Huh? You ought to be ashamed. Good night. Oh, no, no, it's no gag. He's in there, and I think he's dead. Who's dead? Oh, I don't, I don't know. He says some guy's in there in Sue's bed. He's crazy. That's not even his room. Oh, yes, it is. It's number five. You are crazy. Number four is across from us, Jessup. That's Whitney. Wait a minute. Eddie's right. Yeah. Somebody's changed these numbers. Yeah. Well, I, I, I got to get back to Sue, fellas. She'll be worried. It won't hurt her to worry a few minutes longer. Come on, let's look into this. What is it? Turner. Macy Turner. Macy? But why? Who? I... Huh? Who, why are you looking at me like that? You don't think that I... Look, Eddie. We're your friends. And the less you say right now, the better. Uh, now, now, listen, fellas, you, you, you gotta believe me. If I'd have killed him, would I put him in Whitney's bed? Would I have told you about it? I don't know. Maybe if you were smart, you would. 
Now, I'm not smart, and I wouldn't have told you about it. Now, listen, folks, you, you gotta believe me. Mm, take it easy, take it easy. Yeah, I know, but... I'm convinced you didn't do it, or you're well of an actor. Well, but I'm as funny as you gotta believe me. Okay, okay, now let's calm down and see if we can do some straight thinking. Yeah, well, we gotta decide what to do. Yeah, let's call the police. Yeah, let's call the police. No, 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 that, that's the last thing we want to do. Do you want to be thrown in jail? Yeah, no, but I told you. I don't care what you told me. You're the guiltiest looking guy around here. I am? You had a fight with Turner last night. Oh, yeah. You found the body in the bed. If the cops wouldn't jump on you, that'd be crazy. Yeah, but... But nothing. I know what we should do. Hide the body until... Yeah, hide the body? Oh, oh let him finish, will you? Well, hide it till I... we figure out who killed him. Then when we tell the police about it, we'll also tell them who killed Turner. That's it. That's smart. Why, we can figure this thing out in no time. Why, with my past experience as a story writer, why, I wouldn't doubt that if I could tell you just how many strokes this man's head was bashed in with it. <laughs> Don't you think you ought to go to bed? Yeah. I guess we'll have to help him, poor fellow. Yeah, he's not feeling any too well. Get rid of her. Yeah. Oh. I beg your evening, Miss Pardon. Uh, I beg your pardon, Miss Evening. I'm lost in a reverie. I'll see you later. A beautiful reverie. Uh -huh. When knights ride forth in their shining mail, uh -huh. when they go in quest of glory and honor, I just slip quietly off into a reverie. Oh, oh no. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, now, now, don't you think that you ought to go to bed? Ah, uh, there's a garden in my reverie. Huh? A very beautiful garden. I wish to walk there. Come, Gerald. Well, uh, uh, Gerald? Oh, no, my name's Eddie Grant. Come. Come into my reverie. Uh, now? Oh. Old name's Bat. Never mind her. Come on, help me. Take it easy, will you? You want me to fall on my face? You're going to put him. Leave him here for a minute while we find a good spot. Shh. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Probably my car. Gerald. If you're not, I shall most certainly scream. You know, no, I'm Gerald, I'm Gerald. Then come. It's a long way to the castle. Yeah. This is just a ticket. Yeah, lock and everything. Okay, lock it. Here, you take the key. Why should I take it? Okay, I'll take it. You're not afraid to turn out the lights, are you? What do you mean, afraid? What do you mean? Oh, let's get out of here.
Don't you think we ought to go back, Lady Guinevere? It's a long ways to the castle, and it's cold. Then come. We'll skip back all the way. Huh? Oh, I just adore these old castles. Yeah. The great halls and corridors. Yeah. Don't you, General? Oh, sure I do, Miss Coates, uh, Lady Guinevere. And to think Queen Bloody Mary slept here. <laughs> But who did? Queen Mary. You know that, Gerald. Huh? She was my godmother. Uh, oh, oh, sure, sure. Good night, dear Gerald. Yes, uh, good night, <laughs> Lady Guinevere. Don't be bashful, dear boy. You may kiss my hand. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good night. Oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> yeah. It's me. Psst, psst. Huh? Oh, no. I, I got it, Sue. Oh. Listen, fellas. I, I, I got to get back because Sue will think something's wrong. Maybe he thinks something isn't. We hid Turner in the basement. Now we got to figure out who killed him. Oh. Our work's just beginning. Yeah, but, but Sue... You're the one who knows all about murders, Bethel. Where do you suggest we start? I suggest we go back in the room where we found Turner's body. Back in the room? Back in the room? Of course, of oh, course. No. Don't you know that the murderer always returns to the scene of his crime? Come on. Oh, fellas, honest. I got it. It's okay, fellas. Whitney hasn't come back yet. Oh, but stop pushing. Hey, maybe he's been here and went away. No, no, he hasn't had time for that. Fight against coming back here. Well, maybe you'll fight until in the morning. No, no. Uh, you wouldn't be able to hold out that long. Now, if we could only find the murder weapon, that would help some. Yeah. He was bashed in the head. Yeah. That means he was killed with a blunt instrument. Yeah. Right. Huh? <laughs> oh, but, oh, I, there's a fun. Oh, no. Well, let's just skip that for a minute now. There's nothing in here. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah? Yeah. This is Whitney's room. Yeah. What does that mean to you? It means that he killed Turner. Would he leave the body in his own bed? If he was smart, he would, yeah. Then I've got a plan to figure out whether he did or not. What? This is his room. Uh, He's coming back here, right? Yeah. When he sees the body in his bed, how will he react? That depends on whether he did it or not. Yeah. Right. All we have to do is wait in the clothes closet and yeah. listen. Yeah. Well, I... Oh, no, wait a minute. You mean we've got to bring Turner back up here and put him in bed? Uh, no. No. Oh, no? Oh, no. No, Father. No. Are you kidding? Huh? Look. No, look. I, 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 I don't think. If you think you could put me in that bed, you're crazy. Don't be silly enough to do that. How are you? Oh. All you have to do is lie here and pretend you're a corpse. We'll be here, Eddie. There's yeah. nothing to worry about. If I come back here and find me. Sure he will. That's what we want him to do. But I don't. Get in there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fellas, I don't want to stay here. Let's call the police. Huh? No. Can't we do this some other way, huh? Keep your hand, Charlie. Oh. No. Stop shaking. A dead man doesn't shake. Oh. Turn out the light. Oh. 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 Fellas, I can't hold my breath over two minutes underwater. Huh? Oh. Oh.
Hey, it's morning. Yeah. Hey, fellas, look what I found. Where'd you find it? It was in bed with me and when I... That's what killed Turner. The blunt instrument. Oh, yeah, here. What are we going to do with it? I don't know what you're going to do with it. I'm going to go see Sue. Good morning, miss. Huh? Sue! Sue! Oh, listen. Will you stop yelling? Other people are trying to sleep. Yeah, I know. But Sue! Sue! Oh, darling. Now, listen to me. I can explain everything. All right. Go ahead. Eh? Oh, well, you see, it was this way. I had to... Well, I couldn't help... Uh, uh, well, it was something. Mm, that's very uh, clear. I'm glad it was something. Oh, Sue, please. Please wait now. Father, uh, you out and get some clothes on. Oh, oh Sue. Please, now. Now, wait a minute. Oh, gee, huh? Oh, Sue. Well. Oh. What do you want? Listen, fellas. Now, Sue's mad at me. Well, don't you think you've caused me enough trouble? That is nothing. The Indian War Club will cause you a lot more trouble. Yeah, what, what do you mean? We've got to figure out what to do with it. Oh, I don't care what you do with it. Sue is, Sue is sore and, and... You better care. Your fingerprints are all over it. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, well, what do you think of our mountain air? Makes you sleep like a million dollars, doesn't it? Dusts all the cobwebs out of your head. When you wake up in the morning, you haven't got a care in the world. The mountains will add ten years to a person's life. Good morning, Eddie, dear. How's the happy bridegroom this morning? Terrible. What's the matter? You sound like somebody found out where the body was buried. What body? Oh, I'm sure. But it can't be that bad. What, what, what body? Say. Huh? What is this, anyhow? A pajama party? Huh? You boys better get dressed or you'll miss out on breakfast. Yeah, uh, we better get dressed. Uh. Well, Macy's up to his old tricks again. He didn't get to bed last night. Any of you seen him? Uh, not this morning. Well, I haven't. And if I don't, it'll be just dandy. I've seen enough of that guy to last me a lifetime. I, I wouldn't worry about him. I mean, if he doesn't show up for a while. <laughs> you know Macy. <laughs> yes, I know Macy. I'm puzzled because I can't imagine what he found to do up here. Well, he could have gone back to town. Why don't you see if you can find him, Beppo? Why me? Uh, why worry? Perhaps you've forgotten, but we did come up here to rehearse the radio program. Go on, Beppo. You're finished. Take a look around for him. All right, but we don't really need him for the rehearsal. Well, maybe he got into the wrong bedroom by mistake. <coughs> you want anything else? No, thank you. Have you seen Mr. Turner? Why should I have seen him? The guy would make a great advance man for a cemetery. Oh. oh, now, wait. Oh, now, Sue, you just got to listen to reason. All right, if there's a legitimate reason for what happened last night. There is a legitimate reason for what happened last night. Oh, darling, you got to trust me until I find this. No, oh, I can't tell you now. Very well. Oh, Sue, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Will you stop shouting? Eddie, I want to talk to you. Well, I want to talk to Sue. Wait a minute. Listen to you, Numbskull. I'm trying to tell you something. Where? The war club's gone. Oh, good. Then they won't find my fingerprints on it. Huh? <laughs> Who took it? Macy isn't here, Sue, but we'll have the rehearsal anyhow. Where is he? Well, at the moment, that's among the unsolved mysteries. We can rehearse without him. Excuse me. Oh, oh look, fellas. Now, we got to call the police. If the murderer took the club, somebody else might get murdered. Easy. Uh, now, if you ask me, I... Yeah, but I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. <laughs> now, what you step on? Hello, Enid. Good morning, Eddie. Did you find Macy, Beppo? Uh, no, I didn't find him. Well, there's no use waiting for him. Let's go ahead with rehearsal. Oh, oh no, no. We, we've got something else Good we... Good morning, folks. Huh? Right pretty day, but it looks like we might be in for a spell of rain. Hello, oh. Slim. Well, Millie, you look as cute as a little mountain rose uh -huh. this morning. <laughs> this is Sheriff Slim Carson, folks. He's full of Barney right up to his Adam's apple, but he's a bad man to have on your trail if you've been mixed up in any law breaking. Thank you, Millie. I reckon that's a heap of compliments. What are you doing out so early, Slim? Running down a law breaker? No, I come over on account of a telephone call. Telephone call? What about? About a man named Turner. It seems like he's missing. Babbo, did you call the sheriff? Me? 
Uh, no, uh, it was Eddie who wanted to call the police. Uh, me? <laughs> when Eddie heard Macy had disappeared, he thought we ought to call the police. We were just talking about it. Yeah, we were just talking about yeah, it. Yeah, we were just talking about it. Well, it's entirely unnecessary, Sheriff. Uh, Macy's bound to show up. Yes, but who called Slim? Well, it was a man's voice, Millie. Quite possible that Macy called himself. I wouldn't put it past him. It's very probable. He has an odd sense of humor. I wouldn't worry about him, Sheriff. You see, Mr. Turner's my husband, and he disappears quite often. Well, if you ain't worried, ma'am, I reckon I'd be wasting my time. Thanks for coming, Sheriff. Not at all. The pleasure was all mine. Have you had breakfast, Slim? No, Millie. This morning I got up before breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rehearse in the card room. Bring the sound effects, Eddie. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh? Beville, listen now. You've got to help me. Because I... I, I oh. Oh, my. Wait a minute. My sound effects, they, they, they've gone. Well, they were right here last night. I came down to lock them up. Did, did you move them? No, I didn't move them. Oh, if anything happens to my well, sound... what could happen to them? Huh? Shh. Did you hear that? Yeah. What, what, what is it? I don't know, but I think it's coming from the basement. The basement? Oh, my. Look, oh. We've got to find out. Huh? You oh. go have a look. Oh. I, I'll call Jessup. Well... Box. You know, my sound effects. Well, it's gone. You don't think I took it, do you? Get out and stay out. Yes, sir. What is it, Eddie? If I find out who locked this chest, I'll break his neck. Who is it? It's Tom. If he's opening that chest, we've got to stop him. Go. Yeah, yeah, let's. Huh? Why didn't we call the police? You mustn't do that. Boy, huh? this is my chest. I can do anything I want to it. Yeah. Say, what is this? First you keep me awake all night with your nonsense, and now you're down here trying to interfere in my work. I've got my clothes in here. Uh, sure, I... but it's the noise. Uh, sure, yeah, you see. The noise. Uh, yes. We're trying to rehearse. Yeah. You're not going to rehearse down here. Oh, no, no, upstairs in the card room. It, I, it's the noise. What's the matter with the noise? Oh, it's fine, but could you wait till later, huh? Sure I could. Well, thanks very much. But I'm not going to. Huh? Oh, no. Huh? We, we got to stop him. seen a chest before? Oh, yeah, but not one with just old clothes in it. Yeah. Come on. Let's get out of here. Oh, say, are you sure it wasn't in there? Well, if it was, it shrunk awfully small. Only the three of us knew where it was. Hey, I didn't know. You knew it was in the basement. Yeah, but I... I... Wait a minute. Huh? Whoever took the body out had to have the key. And you had the key. Huh? You figured that out quick, didn't you? And you also could figure out how to get the key. It was in my bathrobe pocket. Oh, well, you better go see if it's there now. What's the good? Oh. Whoever took it could put it back. Oh. And if they didn't, it won't prove anything. 
I wish I knew where the body was. Did I hear somebody say something about a body? Oh, well, uh, no. Uh, you see, uh, uh, that it. Uh, we were talking about our radio program, Sheriff. Yeah, uh, our yeah. mystery program. They always have bodies in a mystery program. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've listened to some of them. To me, the eyes seem kind of silly. Uh -huh. Well, I gotta be moseying. So long. Yeah, so long. The sheriff was. You what is that about a sheriff? Oh, nothing. We have sheriffs in radio programs too, don't we? Yeah, this is a western mystery. Yeah, and and the sheriff turned out to be smart in the end, huh? He ought to be an interesting character. Huh? Sheriffs at Labra turn out to be a mighty smart number. Can't never tell. Huh? So long. Come on, boys. We're waiting for you. Let's get this rehearsal over. We've got a lot to do. Young yeah, man, huh? you in the middle. Huh? I want to talk to you. Me? Oh, I'm sorry, but I... I, I... Huh? You better see what she wants. It might be about last night. Oh, night. why does everything have to happen to me? I... Oh. Good morning, Lady Guinevere. My name is Cornelia. If anyone knows me well enough to use it. Oh. But that's of no consequence. Uh. There's a matter I wish to discuss with you. Uh, but, uh, Gwen, uh, Miss Coates, I... I, I... No buts, no buts. It's huh? quite to your advantage, I assure you. Oh, well, I have to do something else right now. I've got to rehearse. <laughs> it's okay, Eddie. Go ahead. We'll explain. Yeah, uh, we'll tell him he got tied up. Come along, young man. We might as well go on with the rehearsal. I, I don't imagine Eddie will be here. <laughs> Yeah, it must be awfully important bringing me way out here. Oh, it is. It's about my will. Oh, your will, huh? Well, I decided to mention you in it. Me? Why? Well, because I dreamed about you last night. And when I dream about a man as I dream about you, well, it's a sure sign he's a good man. And so I decided to put you in my will. It's sure nice of you, Miss Coates. Nice you appreciate it. Oh, rubbish and nonsense is nothing. Nothing at all. But don't you want to hear the rest of my dream? Oh, sure, sure. But what else did you dream? Well, I dreamed that I came down to the lobby of the lodge, and you were there with two other men. And the three of you were taking care of another man who had had too much to drink. You dreamed that? Yes. <laughs> it sure is. What else did you dream, Miss Coates? Well, that you were so gallant and that oh. I was so frightened. Yeah, well, you didn't act frightened to me. How do you know what oh, I was I, 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 I was just joking. Well, I was frightened. Huh? I was horrified. Huh? And why shouldn't I be? I'd just seen a murder committed. Well, I... A murder? Yes, a murder. I saw a man hit another man over the head with a club and drag him into the bedroom. Yeah. It was horrible. In the dream, of course. Now, wait a minute. Now, if you dreamed you saw, saw me, and you dreamed well, you saw... let me tell you the rest of the dream. Oh, no, never mind the dream. Now, th this guy who hit the other one, who was what it? What difference does it make? It was only a dream. Well, all right, in the dream, who was it? Well, let me see. Yeah. Nobody I know. Oh, well, had you ever seen him before? Yes. Yeah. But I don't know his name. Oh, well, well would you know him if you saw him? Yes, of course. He's at the lodge. At the lodge. At the lodge. But let me tell you the rest of the dream. The heck with the dream. We've got to get back. Come on, we've got to find out. But I don't understand. Yeah, never mind you. Why can't I? Because any minute now, it's going to start raining cats and dogs, and the roads will be washed out. Besides, you ought to give Eddie a break. Look, 
I'll swear, Eddie hasn't got a mean or dishonest bone in his body. Well, I know, but what's going on? Macy Turner disappearing. Eddie and that, that woman out all night. Everyone acting so mysteriously. My honeymoon ruined. Listen, what's more important to you, your honeymoon or your marriage? Naturally, my marriage is the most important. Millie, do you think he's in trouble? Well, if he is, do you think it's fair to run out on him? Oh, Millie. And now, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, I know, but if he gets caught out in the storm, he may get all wet and catch pneumonia and die. <laughs> don't worry about Eddie. He may not be a mental giant, but he does have sense enough to come in out of the rain. Oh, now, baby, stop worrying. Eddie's all right. I know, but you haven't heard from the sheriff. He hasn't found him yet. Well, no, I haven't heard from Slim, but I'm sure that Eddie's all right. But he'd telephone. Well, no, not if there's no phone handy. Oh, come on now, baby, cheer up. Get your mind on something else. Well, thank you. Macy hasn't been to Comet Club. Can you think of any place else? No, that covers about every place. Well, at least we did our best to find him. Enid, why do you keep taking it from Macy? When I say stay out, I mean stay out. Oh, you big bed. Whitney, can't you stay out of trouble? Oh, the man's a maniac. You ought to be in a padded cell. And speaking of trouble, don't you think you two are getting a little brazen? Listen, one more crack Stop out of you it. and I... I've taken enough Stop of this. Stop it, Cedric. Come on. gentlemen. The lodge is closed for the season, but on account of the storm, I'll be glad to take care of you tonight. Well, that's very kind of you. I hope it won't be necessary for us to stay the night. I'm Lieutenant Phillips, Los Angeles Police, Homicide Squad. This is Sergeant Hurd. Homicide? Well, well, that's murder, isn't it? It ain't bug poison, sister. I'd appreciate your having everyone come down here. Everyone is staying here. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I, I'll get them right away. You'd appreciate it. Ain't you going soft? Sergeant, there's one thing I wish you'd remember. Yeah, what's that? Not to say ain't. Is that everyone? Everyone that's here. Who isn't here? Tom Walker. He's the handyman around the lodge. He should be about someplace, but I couldn't find him. Anyone else? Uh, Miss Coates, one of the guests. And, oh, yes, Mr. Turner. No, ain't he here? Sergeant. Okay, isn't here. Yeah, and don't forget Eddie Grant. He isn't here either. Eddie Grant, he's the one we're looking for. Where is he? Why do you want Eddie Grant? What's Eddie got to do with all this? Has anything to do with my husband? Please, please, now, everyone just relax. It'll all be explained to you at the proper time. <coughs> What's the matter? There was a horrible face at that window. Do you know who it was? Probably Tom Walker. He isn't very pretty standing in the rain. He isn't very pretty standing anywhere. All right, Sergeant, go out and round him up. What, in this rain? Yes, in this rain. Go on. How will I know what this Walker guy looks like? Just bring in anybody you see. I demand to know if this inquiry concerns my husband. Who is your husband, lady? Macy Turner. He came up with us last night, and no one has seen him since. I don't see why anyone should worry about him. He always turns up, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Just what do you mean by that? Meaning we hope he doesn't. Well, go ahead, go ahead. This is getting interesting. Turner doesn't seem to have been very popular with some of you. Some of us? You wouldn't any of you by any chance dislike him enough to kill him. Is he dead? The body of Macy Turner was found this afternoon in the baggage room of the Los Angeles station. It was in a black box with the name Eddie Grant on it. Why, why that's Eddie sound effects box. Officer, you don't think Eddie did it, do you? Well, what is Eddie Grant to you? Well, he's my husband and, oh, he wouldn't do anything like that. Get in there and no more funny business out of you. Here's your Tom Walker. I found him hiding in the barn. You ask me, officer, there's your man. You trying to strangle Turner, the first night? We're here. He's crazy. I didn't murder anybody. You can't put me in jail. If you think we can't, you're really crazy. We're not going to put you in jail. We just want to ask you a few questions. Now, come on over here and sit down and relax. 
All you've got to do is to tell me the truth. Oh, hello, everybody. Darling. Uh, uh, you're all wet. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of nice and cozy in here. Are you by any chance Eddie Grant? Yeah, I'm Eddie Grant. Eddie, he's a policeman. Just a minute. Let me tell him. Oh, a policeman? Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Well, thank you, Eddie. I'm glad to see you, too. Yeah. Why are you glad to see me? Well, there's been a murder committed around oh, here. Oh, there's been a murder committed, huh? Who was killed? Macy Turner. And I know who did it. You know who did it, huh? Yeah, well, that is. That is what? Yeah, Miss Coates knows who did it. Oh, Miss Coates knows who did it, huh? Yeah. How does she know? Well, she saw him do it. Oh, she saw him do it, huh? Yeah. Does she tell you who it was? Well, no, the horse ran away. Oh. Oh, I see. Miss Coates couldn't tell you who it was because the horse ran away. She was in the buggy. Buggy? Yeah. If you ask me, the whole thing sounds buggy. Eddie, Eddie, don't say anything. Now, more. just a minute, the young lady. What's I that? want to talk to Mr. Grant alone. Huh? The rest of you just step out in the lobby. Keep well, an eye on him, Sergeant. All right, everybody out. I, 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 Eddie, they think you did it. They found Macy in Los Angeles in your sound effects box. What? Yes. Yeah. That'll, That'll do. Box. That'll do. Wait a minute. Take her out, Herb. Wait a minute. Come on, Miss. I, 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 Hey, wait a minute. You'll be careful of Sue. Oh, he'll be careful of Sue. Well, well, you come on over here and sit down. Well, you better be careful of Sue. She hasn't been married very long. Never mind her. Now, Eddie, I want to ask you a few I've questions. I can save you a lot of time if you're trying to find out who killed Turner. Well, that, in my own clumsy way, is exactly what I'm trying right. to do. The first thing you do is find Miss Coates and, and she... Well, and then ask her. You say that she saw the murder committed? Yeah, sure. In a dream. Yeah. Oh, it does sound kind of crazy, doesn't it? Yes, Eddie, it does. Yes. Well, Look, let me I, talk, will you? Well, I... Oh, sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Did you ever have any trouble with Macy Turner? Trouble? Yes. Did you ever get mad at him, have a fight with him? Fight? Yeah. Yeah, I did. The first night we came up here, I had a fight with him. He insulted Sue, and... Well, I just... They're going to arrest him, I know. Take it easy, baby. Arresting Eddie won't prove that he did it. I know, but they'll put him in jail. Oh, we've got to stop them. Millie, we've got to do something. The first thing we've got to do is keep our head. I'm one of the best shots in the force, and if you so much as look like you're gonna make a break for it, I'll plug you. And I got eyes in the back of my head. How did Turner get to Los Angeles in an Eddie's box? Shh. Go right ahead, men. Don't pay no attention to me. What's that? That's an Indian club. How did that get there? Shh. But we left it in the... Shut up. Sergeant Hurd. Okay, Sergeant. We're taking him. I'm sorry, folks. I've got to take Mr. Grant back to town with us. The rest of you are at liberty. We know who you all are, and we know where we can get you when we want you. Just don't leave the state. Millie, I know how we can do it. Do what? Stop them from taking him. Now, you've got to help me. I tell you, I didn't do it. Then you got nothing to worry about. Come on. Well, I can say goodbye to my wife, can I? Yes, but don't try to get away. It won't do you any good. Go ahead, Millie, quick. Sounds crazy, but then so am I. Hurry, I'll stall them. Uh, Darling! Oh, Sue, they think I killed Turner. They can't arrest you. See, they already have. Well, I won't let them. I'm sorry, Mrs. Grant. Come on. Oh, now you can't take him. I'm afraid I can, Mrs. Grant. Come along, Grant. Well, you don't have to go tonight. You can wait till morning. I'm uh, sorry, I can't. Well, why can't you? Because I don't want to. Well, Miss Coates will surely be back by morning. Oh, it's no use, Sue. They don't believe there is a Miss Coates. Well, there is, and she knows who killed Macy Turner. Look, Mrs. Grant, I'll tell you what you do. When Miss Coates comes back, you have her come down to Los Angeles to headquarters and tell us all about it. All right, I'll do that. Then you won't have to take Eddie. I'm afraid I'll have to. Oh, oh on. please, wait a minute. Look, Mrs. Grant, you're just making it more difficult for everyone. Well, now, you're not going to let Eddie go all the way to Los Angeles in those wet clothes, are you? <laughs> you don't oh, want him to catch me. pneumonia and die, do you? Has he got dry clothes here? Yes, sure. Yeah. All right, Sergeant, go along with him and make it snappy. Just a minute, Grant. Huh? You're under arrest. You're telling me. Yeah, I'm telling you. Come on. Just a minute. What do you think you're doing? 
We've already arrested Mr. Grant, Sheriff. And who might you be? Lieutenant Phillips, Homicide Squad, Los Angeles Police. Murder charge, eh? Uh, suspicion of murder? Well, we're charging him with a heap more than suspicion. You ain't charging him with nothing. We're taking him back to Los Angeles. I'm sorry to disappoint you, mister, but you're in my county now, and my charge is come first. I don't know what your game is, but you can't get away with it. Uh, <laughs> you're wrong, Sergeant. He can get away with it. What's the charge, Sheriff? Wife desertion. Yeah. And a man can't commit a more heinous crime. But wife desertion? Oh, no, I didn't desert my wife. Sue, tell him I didn't. Go ahead, tell him I didn't. He didn't only desert me, Sheriff, but he was out all night with another woman. Uh -huh. And he beat me. But, but I... I never did. I a brute. Yeah. Millie. Go ahead, tell him I never did. I'm sorry to have to admit it about yes. my own brother, but it's true. He yes. is a brute, yes. and he ought to be made to pay for oh, it. Millie! Oh, Chef, don't believe him! So, not satisfied with deserting your wife and beating her, philandering around with another woman, now you're trying to make her out a liar. You're a dangerous character. Uh -huh. And what the law's gonna do to you, well, you ain't gonna like it, oh. you wife beater. Oh, no. Now, no. Hey, he said ain't. Ooh. I found that there horse running loose. Belongs to Miss Coach, don't it? Why, yes. Did you see her? Come on that there buggy, all smashed up it were. Going far from there, come on that horse. You're a great little actress, Mrs. Grant. But don't you think you're carrying this Miss Coates business a little too far? Oh, but you don't understand. Sure, sure, we understand. But ain't gonna get you nothing. Isn't gonna get you nothing. Oh. Do you know what I think, Lieutenant? No, what do you think, Sergeant? I don't think they've even got that Grant guy in jail. Oh, Slim Kirk! Get up! Oh, where is that guy? Miss Coates? Miss Coates! Miss Coates! Hey! Lady Grover! It's me! Can't say one of my friends is in jail! Miss Coates! It's me! Oh. Sheriff! Slim Carson! Slim Carson! Here, here, here! here. Shh, shh. You criminals have got to cut out the racket. I, I got to get out of here! What you in for? The murder. Murder? That's serious. Oh, no, I'm in for wife deserting. I don't know what I'm in for. Where's Slim Carson? Where's the sheriff? Fishing. It's his day off. But I'm the deputy sheriff. I can do anything he can. Yeah? Then let me out of here. No, can't do that. But I can get you some breakfast. I'll bet you're starved. I don't want any breakfast. I gotta get out of here. I... I... Oh, look. Come here a minute. I want to tell you something. No. Nope. <laughs> Won't do you any good, Bob. Huh? I know all them jailbreak tricks. I've been to the movies. No. I'll stay here and listen. Listen, if I don't get out of here, somebody's gonna be killed. If you do get out, I lose my job. Oh, won't you please listen? Sure. No harm in listening. Oh, look, now Miss Coates just drove by. She's going to the lodge. And if I don't get there quick, she'll be killed. Who's Miss Coates? To what difference does it make who she is? She's the only one that can prove that I'm innocent. Look, now she saw a murder committed. She's so who did it, and she's the only one that knows, and the murderer knows she knows. And he'll kill her, don't you understand? What you need, son, is something to eat. <laughs> what anything to eat? I, I want to get out of here. I couldn't let you out if I wanted to, bub. I'll get you something to eat. I, I don't want anything to eat. Why won't you let me out? On account of Slim took the keys with him. Oh, 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 Slim, Slim, Tyson, Sheriff! Oh, excuse me. Huh? It's an Indian war club. How would you like to get hit on the head with it? I wouldn't like it. Uh -huh. Say, do you suppose that old coot's Miss Coates? Could be. Here. I'm Miss Coates. Where have you been? Miss Coates. Did you speak to me, young man? Yes, I've heard tell that you know who murdered Macy Turner. You heard what? Is this some kind of a joke? No, lady, it's no joke. Well, I don't even know, Mr. Turner. Who told you that I did? A young man named Eddie Grant. Oh, Mr. Grant. Hmm? Where is the dear boy? The dear boy is in jail. In jail? Oh, that's too bad. There's something I wanted to tell him. But it can wait. It's just something about a dream. Something about a dream? Eddie 
said you knew who killed Macy Turner. That's perfectly ridiculous. I told that person downstairs that I don't even know Mr. Turner. Why does everybody seem to think I do? Eddie said you, you saw the man who killed him. Oh, please, Mrs. Coach, you've got to know who did it. Eddie's life may depend on it. It's absurd. How would I know? It isn't Eddie Grant you're talking about. Yes, he said you knew. Oh, I saw a man hit on the head and dragged into a bedroom, but that was in a dream. In a dream? Oh, my dreams are so realistic, and I never forget a face. Well, who was it? That's the young man who hit the other guy. Have you seen Miss Coates? No, uh... <coughs> Grant! Hey, come back here! Well, you're right. Well, I'm sorry it had to be you, Grant. But I've always hated Turner. Well, now that you're a hero, maybe you'll be able to produce your own radio show. And now I want you to meet your star and my wife. Your hostess and my sponsor, Lady Guinevere of Lady Guinevere Cosmetics. Thank you, friends of the radio audience. And I really don't walk in my sleep. Yeah.